in algebra first we are going to look at linear equations then we are going to look at quadratic then we are going to look at cubic equations then we will see a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a plus b whole cube a minus b whole cube a square minus b square a cube minus b cube a cube plus b cube we will explore these formulas then after a plus b plus c whole square then after a cube plus b cube plus c cube and so on these formulas because if you see the latest questions mostly based on these formulas then after we'll see all the questions that can be possibly asked from this format a plus 1 by a and a minus 1 by a okay they'll give you a plus 1 by a they'll ask you a square plus 1 by a square or a cube plus 1 by a cube or a power 4 plus 1 by a power 4 so those kind of questions can also be asked then after we'll see reminders then also we see domain and range we also see maximum and minimum values of the equations that we see quadratic especially for a quadratic equation we'll see maximum and minimum values how do we find out then after a few miscellaneous questions based on algebra like based on the variables x y z and all <clears throat> for an equation what is the degree of the equation so for any equation if you want to find out the degree of the equation you see the highest power of the variable in the equation we call it as what we call it as a degree suppose i'll say a x cube i'll take it in a single variable b x square plus c is equals to zero what is the variable which is present in this basically the first alphabet a b c d we use it as a constant and the last alphabet x y z we use it as a variables in the equation so if you look at the variable in the equation you call it as x x is the variable in the equation and a b c is a constants the coefficient of x cube is a coefficient of x square is b c is a constant term but still you say a comma b comma c are simply constant here the variable in the equation is what x okay and what is the highest power of x the highest power of x is 3 so what is the degree of this equation the degree of this equation is 3 you understand if the highest power is 4 so you call degree of the equation is what Four. Now, why do, why do we need to learn about degree? It's only to tell you that if the degree of the equation is one, and only you take it as one variable. A x plus b is equals to c. Yes, I know. What is the degree here? one how many variables are there only one variable is there and degree is one so how do you solve this ax is equals to minus b x is equals to minus b by k 
you call it as a root of the equation or you call it as a solution of the equation or you call it as a zero of the equation all means the same if i ask you root of the equation or what is the zero of the equation or what is the solution of the equation all of them is x is equals to what minus b by a this is the solution okay so you call this equation as a linear equation you call it as what linear equation why do we call it as a linear equation because if degree is 1 this equation represent a straight line what it represent it represent a straight line okay any equation which is representing a straight line you call it as a linear okay now degree is one only but there are two variables if there are two variables okay then tell me what is the equation ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 to make you understand simply let it be 2x plus 3y is equals to let's say any number let's take it as 2 something like this okay ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 or else you can say ax plus by is equals to c also fine c is a constant c can have a negative value or positive value it doesn't matter this equation is also you call it as a linear equation because this also represent what straight line only now what is the difference between that straight line and this straight line see when the degree is one only one variable it represent a equation which is parallel to x axis or else an equation which is parallel to y axis this is only one variable two variables means it is neither parallel to x axis nor parallel to y axis okay so if it is parallel to x axis and parallel to y axis it is actually one variable if it is not parallel to x axis not parallel to y axis you call it as two variables now do we have any solutions 2x plus 3y is equals to 12 i am saying can you solve this equation i am asking you can you solve this equation ax plus by is equals to c if i ask you what is the solution of this or else let's say 2x plus 3y is equals to 2 so if i ask you what is the solution of the equation okay then can you tell me any solutions of the equation when i give you two variables and only one equation can you minus no not that yes do we have any solution for that see can i put 6 comma 0 is it not a solution for that equation put x is equals to 6 y equal to 0 what do you get 2 6 12 0 12 okay can i put 0 comma 4 is it not a solution yes or no can i take 3 comma 2 yes or no so there are a lot of solution for this single equation yes or no because a single line passes through how many points it passes through infinite points how many points it passes through infinite points so you can have how many solution you'll have infinite solution when a single line is given but if i ask you for a unique solution unique means single solution if i ask you for a single solution okay do you find single solution by using only one line no what do we need we need another line yes or no we have solved linear equations in two variables in your 8th and 9th class when two equations are given you can probably by using elimination method or any other method you must have solved okay so for example if i give you another equation can you try solving or else getting a unique solution for this suppose if i say 2x plus 3y is equals to 12 6x plus 9y is equals to 36 okay can you solve it now 
can anyone tell me what is the value of x and y can can we solve it now because okay i have given you two equations okay though i have given you two equations 2x plus 3y is equals to 12 6x plus 9y is equals to 36 but in fact if you look at if i multiply the first equations with 3 what do i get if i multiply the first equation with 3 what do i get is it not the same okay so in reality am i giving you two equation or single equation i'm giving you single equation so you you can call it as what coincide lines what are the lines coincide one stays on the other both of them are actually what same lines only now i am giving you another one let's say 2x plus 3y is equals to 12 let's say Eight x plus twelve y is equals to twenty. Are they same? First of all, are they coincide lines? Are they coincide lines? I'm asking you, are they coincide lines? They are actually not, because if you multiply it with four, what do you get? Eight x plus twelve y is equals to what? Forty eight. You should get. But what I'm giving you, twenty. If you divide this by four, two x. Plus three y is equals to what? Two x plus three y is equals to five. I am telling you two x plus three y equal to twelve, and I am also telling you two x plus three y equal to five. For any value of x and y, will this be possible? Whatever the value you substitute, two x plus three y cannot at a time it will not become twelve and five now. You understand the point? Why it will not become? Because these are parallel lines. what kind of a lines these are these are parallel lines parallel lines do they meet they will never meet meeting means a solution okay so they never meet said so do not have any solution you understand my point there same 2x plus 3y is equals to 12 now i'm giving you something else like 3x plus 4y is equals to 15 they are two different lines what are they the two different lines they actually intersect so that intersection point is called what solution or else root of the equation or else zero of the equation you understand my point there okay so they have a unique solution so especially when two variables are given find Degree is one linear equation. I'm telling, I'm taking the two equations as a one x plus b one y plus c one is equals to zero. A two x plus b two y plus c two is equals to zero. If a one by a two is equals to b one by b two is equals to c one by c two, in all respects they are same. Actually, both the lines are same. So, what do you call these kind of lines? These are coincide lines. How many solutions it will have? Infinite solutions. Suppose a one by a two is equals to b one by b two, but it is not is equals to what? C one by C two. what what kind of lines these are these are parallel lines do we have any solution for them a1 by a2 is not is equals to b1 by b2 we don't care about c1 by c2 whether it is equal or not we don't care so what do you call them you call them intersecting lines how many solutions will you have unique solution unique solution means single solution is that clear a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2 okay what kind of lines they are they are <coughs> coincide lines infinite solution 
a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 but not is equals to c1 by c2 what kind of lines these are these are parallel lines no solution okay then a1 by a2 is not is equals to b1 by b2 unique solution because intersecting lines they'll give you two equations they say it will not have unique solution it will not have unique solution means you have two cases what are the two cases it may either have infinite solution or else it may have no solution but for both of them what is the condition that you need to take a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 you need to take you need to take a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 you don't care about c1 by c2 right if they do not have unique solution means always remember a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 so let me give you a sum suppose 2x plus 3y plus 12 is equals to 0 4x plus ky plus 15 is equals to 0 will not have unique solution then fine okay how do i find out k value we know a1 by a2 is equals to so k is equals to how much k is equals to simply 6 i hope you understand that a1 by a2 is equals to what b1 by b2 they do not say that they are parallel or okay coincide lines they simply say they do not have unique solutions so you must understand if they do not have unique solution a1 by a2 will be definitely equal to what b1 by b2 and always remember in okay remember a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 means it may either have infinite or no solution but it will definitely not have a unique solution that's all let's copy this then we'll go for the next degree of the equation is true and only one variable can you tell me general format of the equation a x square plus b x plus c is equals to zero i'm not involving two variables so no y only x and what is the degree degree is 2 so degree is 2 means the highest power of the equation is how much 2 okay so that is a x square plus b x plus c is equals to 0 now how do i solve this can anyone tell me what is p plus q whole square a plus b whole square only but i am talking about p plus q whole square same thing what it is p square plus 2 p q plus what Q square. Now we'll try to do it in terms of completing square method. Okay, we'll complete it as a square. So how do I do it? First, divide it by a. If I divide it by a, x square, b by a into x plus what? C by a is equal to zero. Right. Now compare it. P square is equal to what? x square if p square is equals to x square then what is p equal to x huh? next term i should have 2 p q so 2 p q is equals to what do we have here b by a into x p is x only right now cancel this 2 into x into q is equals to b by a into x x and x you cancel then what is q b by 2a so no so you can just imagine x square 2 into x into b by what 2a now if you multiply again x x cancel sorry 2 2 cancel b x by a only b x by a only now next to q square you write what is that q square b by 2a whole square so if you added q square you subtract because it is not there we are writing it c as it is c by a as it is is it clear now tell me what is the first three terms you write it as how do you write the first three terms you write the first three terms as 
x plus b by 2a whole square and this goes that side if it goes that side b square by 4a square minus c by a asano take the lcm 4a square b square minus 4ac square root on both the sides if i do square root on both the sides x plus b by 2a is equals to what plus r minus under root of b square minus 4ac what is root of 4a square 2a now this plus b by 2a goes that side it becomes what minus b by 2a 2a is anyway common so what are the solutions minus b plus r minus b square under root of b square minus 4ac divided by what 2a this is okay these are two solutions of the quadratic equation you can call it as roots of the quadratic equation or zeros of the quadratic equation or else solution of the quadratic equation okay i'm say i'm telling you two solutions what are the two solutions one is minus b plus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a another one is minus b minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a now why am i deriving this because the derivation is also important for you you should know how to do completing a square understood how to express an equation in the form of a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square right now you call this b square minus 4ac as a discriminant this discriminant is b square minus 4ac i'll represent it by capital d if this capital d is greater than 0 you say roots are real what are the roots roots are real not only real they are distinct which means you have different roots okay this gives you the nature of roots if d is equals to 0 roots are real and equal roots if they say this equation has a equal roots then what is the condition you take you take b square minus 4ac is equals to 0 or else you take b square equal to 4ac that is the condition you must take once if d is less than 0 then roots are imaginary okay or else you can say no real roots what do we say we say no real roots so real roots does not exist only roots are imaginary we don't discuss about imaginary roots so that is the reason i am saying no real roots okay now a x square plus b x plus c is equals to what equal to zero this is the quadratic equation it generally represent the parabola i'll take it as x square plus b by a into x plus c by a is equals to zero if roots are alpha comma beta then can i say x is equals to alpha comma x is equals to beta so no how do i get a quadratic equation by using it x minus alpha x minus beta is equals to 0 then after you multiply minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha beta is equals to 0 minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equals to 0 compare 1 compare 2 can anyone tell me what is the coefficient of x in the second what is the coefficient of x in the second in the second one what is the coefficient of x minus alpha plus beta what is the coefficient of x in the first one b by a so what is alpha plus beta minus b by a right what is product 
simply constant term you take x c by a for a x square plus b x plus c is equals to zero line. What is sum of roots? Sum of roots is minus b by a. What is product of roots? Product of roots is c by a. This is clear. When sum and product of roots are given, when sum and product of roots are given, then what is the equation? Equation is x square minus sum into x plus is equals to zero. I'll give you some roots: three comma minus six, seven comma five. Four comma minus three, five comma two, minus three comma minus five. Tell me the equation. Can you tell me what is the sum? Can anyone tell me what is the sum? Minus three. So the equation is x square plus three x plus what? Sorry, minus eighteen equal to zero. Because roots, I am already giving you three comma minus six. Then what is the sum minus three? Therefore, it becomes x square minus half minus three plus three x minus eighteen is equals to zero. Product is minus eighteen. What is the sum? Sum is twelve. What is the product? Thirty five. So what is the equation? X square minus twelve x plus thirty five is equals to x square minus x minus twelve is equals to zero. X square minus seven x plus ten is equals to zero. X square plus eight x plus is equals to zero. Do you understand the point there? Tell me, what are the roots? First of all, concentrate on the sum and product. What is the sum in the first case? Not five. What is the sum? Minus five because minus b by a, right? B is five. So what is minus b by a? Minus five. What is the sum? Minus five. Negative five is the sum. Product is six. Tell me, what are the two numbers whose sum is negative five and product is six? Six and eight into three and two, so you can say it is negative three and negative two. You understand the roots? So what are the solutions? Negative three and negative two. What is the sum in the second case? Okay, yeah, sum is five, product is six. Sum is five and product is six means what are the two numbers? The two numbers are two two comma. Next. Sum is positive five, but product is negative six. Is it any way possible? Chapani, what is the what are the roots? Sum is positive five, product is negative six. Six comma negative one, or as you can say, negative one comma six. Is that no? Sum is how much? Five. Product is how much? Negative six. Next, sum is one, positive one. Product is negative six. I'm not doing it. Positive one means three minus three into minus two is minus six. Three minus two is one. Now, what is the sum? Sum is negative one. Product is minus six. So, can I say minus three comma? This is minus two comma minus plus three. First negative, then positive. Is that clear? Okay. Generally, any quadratic equation is given. How do you solve them by using factorization? Suppose six x plus eight is equals to zero. What is the basic way of solving it? One into eight. Is equals to eight. First, you find out 
the coefficient of x square in the constant term you multiply it and that is 8 now try to factorize 8 so that it will give you 6 so how do you it will how, how does it will give you 6 2 4 so you take it as plus 2x plus 4x x plus 2 x plus 2 this is factorization x plus 2 into x plus 4 is equals to 0 what is x is equals to negative 2 negative 4 If the roots are integers, you can say. If the roots are not integers, if it is if they are in fractions, then you have to factorize and find it out. Understood? Okay. Generally, a quadratic equation represents what? A quadratic equation represents what? You can take it as f of x as a function. In terms of x, let it be a x square plus b x plus c. Right? This function represent a parabola. What it represent? All the parabolas in terms of x. Will be open upwards, or else it will be open downwards. This open upwards and downwards depends on what depends on the value of a. If a is positive, it is open upwards. If a is negative, it open downwards. A positive or negative? One, okay. It depends on a whether it is positive or negative. Now see, if a is positive, this parabola start with the Minimum value. What is it? Minimum value ends with a maximum value. So for parabola, you can only decide either minimum or maximum, right? When do you think a parabola will have a minimum value? When a is greater than zero. When a is positive, parabola will have minimum value. When a is less than zero, parabola will have maximum value. Yes or no? Chura chura. But the open upwards means upper limit is not decided, but it is starting from the base, right? So open downwards means okay. Minimum value you cannot decide. You can only decide maximum value, okay, for a parabola. Now see whether it is minimum or maximum. We don't care. It is the vertex only. What is it? It is vertex. You call it as a vertex of the parabola. This vertex of the parabola is. you can take it as h you can take it as k so vertex of the parabola is h comma k where h is equals to minus b by 2a k is equals to 4ac minus b square by 4a so what is the vertex vertex is minus b by 2a 4ac minus b square by 4 whether it is minimum or maximum we don't care this is at this value it will have minimum or maximum but what is minimum or maximum value this is the minimum or maximum value you understand they will ask you at what value of x it will have minimum or maximum value he is not asking you minimum or maximum value he is asking you at what value of x It will have minimum or maximum. At what value of x it will have? At x is equals to minus b by 2a because it is the x coordinate now. So at x is equals to minus b by 2a, it will have minimum or maximum value. But what is the value? The value is 4ac minus b square by 4a. How do I get this 4ac minus b square by 4a? You substitute this minus b by 2a in which one? In the equation, a x square plus b x plus c. If you substitute minus b by 2a in the equation a x square plus b x plus c, you get 4ac minus b square by 4a. Okay, you'll only decide minimum or maximum based on what? Based on simply a value. If a is greater than zero, minimum. A is less than zero, maximum. 
let's say if you don't want to do it any of the formulas then this is the equation f of x is equals to by using the completing square method express it in this manner h my x minus h whole square plus k okay here what is h h is anyway minus b by 2a and what is k k will be minimum or maximum value here h comma k is the vertex what x of at h value it will have minimum or maximum and what is the value means it is k okay and you know h is equals to minus b by 2a and k is equals to 4ac minus b square by 4a right copy that too give me any quadratic equation f of x is equals to any quadratic equation please to make you understand i'm taking it as x square plus 4x plus 16 then after we'll discuss a little bit more will it have a minimum value or maximum value first of all what is the coefficient of x square coefficient of x square is 1 if coefficient of x square is 1 okay is it positive or negative positive okay it is not like negative x square is not there when negative x square is there then it then you'll have maximum value but now minimum value first of all if i ask you to find out minimum or maximum definitely i can say a is greater than 0 therefore it will have what minimum value at what value of x it will have minimum value at x is equals to minus b by 2a what is minus b by 2a of course it is minus 4 by 2 at x is equals to minus 2 If I substitute x is equals to minus two, what is f of minus two? This is four, sixteen. Then after, sorry, minus two now. It is eight. That's all. So what is the minimum value? Minimum value is twelve. At what value of x it will have minimum value? At x is equals to negative two, it will have minimum value. Otherwise, if you want to write it like this, can I write it as x square plus four x plus four plus twelve? One into x plus two whole square plus what? Twelve. It is in the form of a into x minus h whole square plus. So, at what value it will have? H H is equals to negative two, K is equals to twelve. So what is the vertex? Minus two comma twelve. At X at X is equals to minus two, the value is what? Twelve. Even if you do B okay four AC four AC minus B square by four A, what do you get? Twelve only you will get. If you want you can do that. What is A here? One. B here? Four. C here, sixteen. Four AC means four into sixteen. B square is four A means forty-eight by four is what? Is it clear? You substitute x value in it, or else you substitute. Okay, you write four AC minus B square by four A. Anything it comes to the same. Is it clear? Copy this as well. If degree is equals to three, only one variable for quadratic and cubic. Degree equal to three means the equation is what called cubic equation, right? What is the general form of a cubic equation? x cube plus what is more important for us is if alpha comma beta comma gamma 
or roots. Then remember, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to negative b by a. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equals to what? C by a. First negative, then after positive, then after again negative. Is what? D by a. This is for cubic. Well, if it is biquadratic, biquadratic means degree is four. They have never asked, but I'm telling you the structure. First, you will take what same a b p d e. You take it. Okay, it is start from what x to the power of four, then x cube, x square, x i constant term. First, sum of roots. Then what it will be? Alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Four roots. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, or any any four you can take it. P, Q, R, S. Okay, is equal to what minus B by A. You start with negative only, negative B by A. Then after alpha, beta, beta, gamma, gamma, delta, and so on. Then you will get six pairs. Okay. Then after alpha, beta, gamma. Okay. Then after alpha, beta, delta, and so on. Three, three, three. Then you will get four, four pairs. Finally, what alpha, beta, gamma, delta. What is it? E by a, first minus b by a, then after c by a, then my negative d by a, then after e by a, it goes like that. First you take it single alpha beta gamma, then you take it two two, then you take it three three, then you take it four four, and it goes on for n number of, okay, or uh, n degree n polynomial. Understood? This is the structure of any polynomial. Okay, copy that. Take a polynomial in terms of x. <clears throat> I'll take it as p of x. A naught. A one x to the power of one. A two x to the power of two, and so on. The last term is a n x to the power of n. The coefficient of x is a one. Coefficient of x square is a two. Coefficient of x to the power of n is a n. This is just a general polynomial I am giving. Okay, it can be linear, it can be quadratic, it can be cubic or biquadratic. Biquadratic means four, degree four, or it may be degree five, degree six, and degree seven. It can be anything, right? If p of x. Is divided by x minus a. The remainder is f of a. Okay, so then remainder is what f of a. X minus a equal to zero. You do it. What is x is equal to a. You put that f of a. You will get the remainder. If suppose if it is divided by x plus a, then what is the remainder? F of minus a. If suppose if it is divided by a x plus b, then what is the remainder? F of equate it to zero. If I equate it to zero, what do you get? A x plus b equal to zero means a x equal to negative b b x equal to Minus b by a. What is it? B by a. Is that clear? Two words now. Same thing. So I say P of 
is equals to 0. Then x minus a is a factor of what? P of x. So P of x is divisible by what? Because reminder is 0 means what will divide? x minus a will divide. Suppose if x plus a is a factor means what should be 0? P of minus a is equals to 0. If suppose P of b by a equal to 0 means what is the factor? ax plus b is a factor. If P of minus b by a is equals to 0 means ax minus b is a factor of P of x. So here not f, it, uh, it is what? It is actually what? I have taken P as a polynomial now. So what do you take? It's P, it's P, it is P, it's P. Okay, copy them. Reminders, if reminder is equals to zero means it is perfectly divisible. Suppose if 25, can I say, if a number is divisible by, a number is when divided by five leaves the reminder zero. 25 when divided by 5, it leaves a reminder 0, which means, can I say 5 is a factor of 25? Same thing. Okay. When I say P of A equal to 0 means what divides? X minus A divides the polynomial perfectly. Okay. So you should know reminder and you should also know factor. When reminder equal to 0, that particular divisor becomes a factor. When do you think divisor becomes a factor? When reminder is 0. Copy that. When P of B by A equal to 0, then you can say AX minus B equal to, okay, AX minus B is a factor of P of X. When P of minus B by A equal to 0, then you can say AX plus B is a factor of P of X because you equal to, okay, equal to X, you do it. Okay, B by A is equals to X mix, B is equals to AX, AX minus B equal to 0. So AX minus B is a factor of what? P of X. Copy both. I take a polynomial. Suppose x minus 1 is a factor. Then can I say p of 1 is equals to 0? p of 1 is equals to 0. Because x minus a is a factor means P of A is equals to 0, right? Then can I say A0 plus A1, 1 you substitute and so on, An is equals to what? 0 and vice versa. When you look at the coefficient, sum of coefficient is equals to 0, then what you can understand? What is a factor? X is equals to 1 is a factor. When sum of coefficients are 0. Suppose if x plus 1 is a factor, p of negative 1 is equals to 0. First a0, then a1 plus a2. Sum of even coefficients or coefficients is equals to 0. Or else you can say a0 plus a2 plus a4 and so on is equals to what? a1 plus a3 plus so on. Alternate coefficient sum is equal. Okay. Suppose if I give you a into b minus c x square b into c minus a x plus c into Can you tell me one factor of this equation? How about x square x? Look at the coefficients. Are they not in a cyclic manner? Don't you think they are in a cyclic manner? Okay, what is the first coefficient? AB minus AC. Second, BC minus AB. Third, AC minus BC. Everything gets cancelled. Yes or no? If I do the sum of coefficients is equals to zero, therefore, what is the root? You can definitely say one root is one. Another root, you can find it out. Not a problem. But definitely I can say what is one root? One root is one. 
you understand this okay so x is equals to you can say a into b minus c plus b into c minus a plus c into a minus b is equals to zero therefore x is equals to one is one solution or you find out the other solution obviously product of roots is equals to c by a so another solution becomes 1 into beta is equals to what is it c into a minus b a into b minus c can i say this is another solution yes or no copy it this is very very important if x minus 1 becomes or else if 1 is a fact okay 1 is a solution then all the coefficients sum of all coefficients is equals to zero if negative one is a, a factor or else if negative one is a solution then you can say alternate coefficient sum is equals to same few basic formulas a power m into a power n in indices what is it a power m plus n we'll discuss complete indices and certs in number theory usually <clears throat> but here variables you should know a power m by a power n is a power m minus n. a power m whole power n is or is a power n whole power m we don't care whether it is m power n or n power m it is always what m into n and you should always know a power m to the power of n is different from a power m to the power of n why because if i take it as 2 3 square 2 2 power 3 whole square what is this first one is 2 power 9 Second one, two power six. That is the difference you have. Anything power zero is equals to one. But make sure a should not be zero, because zero power zero is what? Zero power zero is undefined format. Zero power zero is not a defined format. It is an undefined format. If they say a to the power of n is equals to one, what are the possibilities? First possibility, n is equals to zero. A is not is equals to zero because zero power zero should not be there. No. Second possibility, a is equals to One one to the power of anything you take it, it will always be what one only. Okay, whether it is one to the power of zero or one power one, one power two, anything you take it, it will always be what it will always be one only, irrespective of n. Do you have any other choice? Okay. X to the power of m is equals to x to the power of n. first thing you can say or else let's take it as y no anything x to the power of m is equals to x to the power of n means you can say m is equals to what n this is one possibility you can say when bases are equal you can equate the power when if it is both the side of the equation or else you can also say X is equals to what one because one to the power of here thousand here hundred but anyway it is same. Third one you can say both of them are equal but they are equal to what? It can also be equal to zero. This is even if it is bases are different also it is same. Even if it is x to the power of m is equals to y to the power of n means you can say both of them m is equals to n is equals to what? Zero is also a possibility but this you don't need to write because already I said m is equals to n whether it is equal to or 
equal to zero or not, it will always be equal. Is it clear? Basic, simple indices and certs. Copy them. Simple thing. In detail, we'll discuss it in number theory. Don't need mostly any basics to do these kind of questions. We'll try the basic questions in algebra. Here's the first question. 2a plus b is equals to 2a plus b by a plus 4b is equals to 3. Cross multiply. 2a plus b is equals to 3a plus 12b. And what is a is equals to negative 11b that negative 11b you substitute negative 11b minus okay plus b negative 11b plus 2b anyway negative negative will be there this becomes negative 10 this becomes negative 9 can i take it as 10 by 9 because negative 10b by negative 9b Minus minus cancel, B B cancel. So what do you get? 10 by 9. What is it? Two numbers X and Y. X is greater than Y are such that their sums, their sum is equal to three times of the difference okay their sum is three times of their difference then the value of 3xy by 2 into x square minus y square will be sum is equals to how much x plus y is equals to three times of x minus y. Can you tell me x plus y by x minus y is equals to c by 1. Can I do comprehend and dividend? If I do comprehend and dividend, x by y is equals to 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1. 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 means 4 by 2. So 4 by 2 means what do you get? Is it not 2 by 1? Or else you can directly do it. x plus y is equals to what? 3x minus 3y. 2x is equals to 4y. What is x by y is equals to? 2 by 1. It is a homogeneous equation only. So it's an expression which is given homogeneous. So what you can do, you can simply Substitute x is equals to 2, y is equals to 1. If I substitute x is equals to 2, y is equals to 1, what happens? 3 into 2 into 1, 2 into 2 square minus 1. What do you get? 6 by 6, simply 1. Is that clear? Tell me what the first one becomes. X plus 1 by what? X. Second one. X plus 1 plus 1 is? X plus 2 by what? X plus 1. Third one. X plus 3 by? Last one. X plus 4 by what? x plus 4 by what? x. Yeah. If I rationalize it, first of all, okay, x is given there. 
it is root of but i am taking it as 5 plus 1 by what this is x root is there but anyway inside of it i am finding root of 5 minus 1 right multiplied with what root 5 plus 1 by root 5 minus 1 in the numerator it is root 5 plus 1 whole square in the denominator it is 5 minus 1 because a square minus b square what is it 5 minus 1 is 4 so what is the value of x the value of x is under root of this what is under root of that root 5 plus 1 what is root of 4 it is 2 now square it what is a plus b whole square root 5 plus 1 whole square first of all write one one step extra Five plus one, six plus two root five. I'm using a square plus b square plus two ab by what? Four. Cancel it in two table. What do you get? Three plus root five by what? By two. Now substitute. Five into. Anyway, x square minus x you have. What is x square? Three plus. root 5 what is x root 5 minus 1 because minus x now by 2 minus 1 2 by 2 is 1 5 minus 1 is 4 all you need to find out what is the value of x you need to find out x square then you need to put it back okay Here x to the power what do you have? X root x. Generally x root x means x to the power of one into x to the power of one by two. What is x to the power of one into x to the power of one by two? One plus one by two, three by two. So right hand side you write it as x to the power of three by two to the power of what? X. So I'll write x to the power of Three by two. Three by two times of x. Bases are equal, so can I equate the powers? What are the powers? Say x. Let it be x. X root x only. You keep it. Keep it as x root x only. If I keep it as x root x, equate the powers. X root x is equal to what? Three by two times of x. X x you cancel. Square on both sides. What is x is equals to nine by all the bases are same. What you can do about the powers? First of all. You can take it individual powers. First, x to the power of b plus c into b minus c becomes b square minus c square. It is like a to the power of m whole power n, which is equal to what a power m n. Second one, c square minus a square. Third one, a square minus b square. All the bases are same. They are in multiplication, so you can add the powers. B square minus C square plus C square minus A square plus A square minus B square. Sum of powers becomes zero. What is x to the power of zero? X If x is real, the minimum value of x square minus x plus one is. At what value you will have minimum, or else directly you can say minimum value or maximum value is four ac minus b square by what? Four a. Whereas a is equals to one, b is equals to negative one, c is equals to one. 
four AC, A and C both are one and one. So four minus one by four. How much it is? Three by four. Understand that? Find the value of x for which the expression has the greatest value. Is he asking you to find out greatest value, or else he is asking you to find out the value of x? See the question. He is not asking you to find out the greatest value. We know this expression will have a greatest value because a is what? A is negative. When a is negative, the expression will have negative value. Okay, negative means it will be having greatest value. But at what value it will have a greatest value? At x is equals to minus b by two a, it will have greatest or minimum both. But in this case, it will have greatest because a is negative. Now, what is b? Minus three. What is a? Answer is. Negative three by eight. So negative three by eight is the greatest. Sorry, is the value of x at which that expression will have greatest. If I ask you to find out what is the greatest value, what do you do? You simply substitute this x value in the expression, or else you do four ac minus b square by four a. Both will give you the same answer. Whether you substitute x is equals to minus three by eight in the given expression. Or else you find out be four uh, ac minus b square by four a both give you the same. If the equation two x square minus seven x plus twelve is equals to zero has two roots alpha and beta, then the value of alpha by beta plus beta by alpha. First of all, what we know about alpha plus beta from the given thing, alpha plus beta is equals to seven by two. What is alpha into beta? Twelve by two is how much? Six. And what is he asking you to find out? Alpha by beta plus beta by alpha, which is alpha square plus beta square by what? Alpha beta. How do I write alpha square plus beta square? I'll write alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta divided by what? Alpha beta. You split it. Alpha plus beta whole square by what? Alpha beta minus what? Because two alpha beta by alpha beta gives you two. Now tell me what is alpha plus beta whole square? Seven by two whole square is forty nine by four. And what is alpha beta? Six minus twenty four twos are forty eight. Forty nine minus forty eight is one divided by what? Twenty four. So what is the answer? One by twenty four. What is the formula I am using here is? Alpha plus beta whole square. What is a plus b whole square? A square plus b square plus two ab. So how do I find out alpha square plus beta square? Send the two ab that side. Alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta. That's all. Because everything you know is alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So try to find out what everything in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta only. When this one is divided by three x plus two, then the remainder is. If it is divided by a x plus b, then remainder is f of negative b by a. So remainder is f of negative two by three. What is two by three? Substitute two by into. Two by three whole cube. Thirteen into two 
plus what? Seven. You know, first one is negative. Three three cancel. Okay, three three cancel means four into eight. How much it is? Thirty two. Two threes will be there. That is nine. Second, it is positive inside but negative outside. Thirteen fours are fifty two by what? Nine. It is plus ten by plus what? Seven. Now tell me, take the LCM of nine, or else just add them. How much you get? Negative eighty four. What is negative eighty four by nine? Three table you can cancel it. Take everything LCM, not a problem. Next. It will be positive. Three into this one thirty. Seven nine zero. Ninety three eighty four. So can I say it is nine by nine? What do you get finally? It's one. Is that clear? All you need to substitute is what if a x plus b is a is dividing. Then what is the remainder? Remainder is minus b by a. If a x minus b is dividing, remainder is f of b by a. Copy them. A x square plus b x plus c is equals to a into x minus b whole square, right? Then the relation among a, b, and c would be. What do you mean by x minus p right hand side? It clearly tells you if you equate it to zero, x is equals to. You'll get both the roots as p and p only because x minus p whole square equal to zero means. What is the meaning? X minus p into x minus p is equals to zero. But both the roots are what? P and p. You have two roots, but both of them are equal. When do you say equal roots? By observation, you can say roots are equal. If roots are equal, means b square minus four ac equal to what? Zero. So what is b square equal to? Four ac. That's what is trying to say here. Is trying to tell you that roots are equal. Then roots are equal. Which condition is true? B square is equals to four AC, or else B square minus four AC equal to zero. X square minus Y square equal to eighty. What is A square minus B square formula? Obviously. X plus y into x minus y is x square minus y square, which is given as eighty. And what is x minus y given as eight? Therefore, x plus y. But he is asking you the average of x plus y. Average means x plus y by two. Ten by two is how much? Five. That's a simple question. That's all for today. Okay. Copy.